Okay, I need the black Mercedes moved. My wife has guests over right now. Okay, right now I'm gonna take lunch to Sally at school and then I'm gonna head for lunch myself. I'm so late today. Oh. Now that I bought Sally her lunch, I guess it's time to film a driving with John Chow. John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to Driving with John Chow. I'm uh, doing things a little differently today. Uh, for one thing, I'm filming, I'm filming this episode not with my usual GoPro. Uh, I am using my vlogging setup. This is the A7R Mark II connected to the Sennheiser AVX uh, microphone and uh, my Fat Getco mount. Basically, it's a uh, it's a $5,000 vlogging setup, <laughs> way more expensive than a GoPro, but uh, we'll, 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 we'll see, uh, we'll see how it works. I expect it, it may not work, it, it may work, but anyway, I, I want to talk a bit about <laughs> my vlogging experience so far. It's been, uh, it's been exercise in both fun and frustration. Uh, I, I'm used to, I'm used to doing things under manual control and stuff and then it, when because I'm going from inside to outside and what's been happening is I I'm forgetting to to switch the setting like switch from the white balance from incandescent to daylight to all this stuff and as a result the, my first my the vlogging video that I did today the the color is all off because I was outside and I had it set the white balance was set to incandescent and it looks weird uh, I'm hoping I can correct it with my uh, color grading. And so what I've done right now is uh, I just set everything, everything to automatic, everything automatic white balance, auto exposure, auto everything. And I'm just gonna let the uh, the camera do it by itself, and uh, hopefully it can it can figure it out. It can figure it out. So uh, anyway, if if you haven't tried vlogging, uh, I recommend it. it, it it's a learning curve, but it's a lot of fun. And you know, guys like Casey Nansat, they, they make it a little geezy, but it's actually a little more involved than I thought it would be. I hear I thought I was gonna, you know, just take a camera and go, hey, hey, I, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's a little more involved, but it is fun. It's a fun learning curve. And uh, I think it's something that would really be great as part of the 90 day video challenge that I'm doing right now. And uh, so I'm gonna add vlogging to it and it's not a way to help create content. And really that's, that's what drives this entire business. That's what drives the internet, basically content. Without content, nothing really happens unless we have the content. Cause without con no content, no one's gonna watch our stuff. No content, no one's gonna care, right? So we, if you can produce content, then the more content, the better. In fact, uh, YouTube loves it if you, if you, improve content. Uh, I was told that if you want to double your YouTube views or double your YouTube subscriber or double your views, basically the way to do it is to uh, double the number of videos you're doing every day. So if, if you're doing one a day, go to two. Well, that's extreme, but you know, if you're doing one a week, go to two a week. If, you go to, if you're doing two a week, go to four a week. And, and in actuality is when you actually double your content, you will actually more than double your, your your views because of the way YouTube works. When you stop producing content on a consistent basis, YouTube will recognize that and they will reward you for it by featuring you more in the search engine, by featuring you more in the suggested video. And uh, that has a much bigger effect than doubling your, your traffic. In fact, if you double your content, you will more than likely triple, quadruple, or even increase your traffic by five times. So, uh, but you need to do it on a consistent basis. And that's one of the reasons we have 
the 90 day video challenge right so uh, if you're not part of it go join it and uh, make a commitment to do a video day for 90 days and then watch amazing things happen to your traffic and traffic more traffic more views more people that means more money more money that's what you know that well I like to say that you shouldn't be doing this for money but uh, you know it's money it's a, it's it's a good side thing, right? <laughs> good side thing. And speaking of nine-day video challenge, I already I already see that uh, <clears throat> that quite a few people already dropped out of the challenge, and they're dropping off. I guess that'll be my next time video. Why cannot people commit to a lousy ninety-day video challenge? And I like to call some of those people out, but I'm not going to because I I think we kind of agree we're not going to shame you, even though I feel you should be shamed for not doing it. But oh well. <laughs> anyway, that's a uh, that's my little update from this uh, driving episode. What do you think of doing my driving video using the Sony instead of the the GoPro? Uh, this camera is is like way more expensive. Like it's five thousand dollars setup, so the video quality should look way better than a GoPro. So, what do you think? You want to see videos on a, on this, or should I go back to the GoPro? Uh, let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. Basically. $5 GoPro versus $5,000 vlogging setup. Which one's better? Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe to my channel. Welcome your feedback. Uh, John Chapel, John Chapel Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next episode. And now we're back. Coming up to my uh, lunch location now. We're gonna go for ramen today. Should be good. Follow him, follow him, yes, follow him, follow him. It's today's lunch. Man, there's like no parking space at all at this mall. What's up? I'm vlogging my whole day. Your whole day? <laughs> my whole day, yeah. That'll make lunch very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> oh, our usual spot. Pretty much our usual spot. We sit there all the time. This is like our reserve table. It's Americanized, you can tell, see? Got pictures and stuff. I usually go with this one. Okay, thank you. This is uh, what's it called? A tashi tofu or a takayashi tofu? Akadashi. Akataji tofu. It's like deep fried tofu, nice and crunchy on the outside, really soft and melts in your mouth on the inside. It's quite good. Kind of spice it up a little bit. I miss ramen. I haven't had it in like two weeks. <laughs> well, that was a good lunch. Took about two and a half hours and just in time for me to go back home and pick up Sally from school. So um, that's, I guess that's it for today's vlog. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give me your feedback on what you think. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you guys on the, on the next vlog, I guess.